Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your March 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it is for March 2021, like I said. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for our lovely Scorpios, please? Angel Spirits Guides. For March 2021, we have the King of Cups which is you, <laughs> male, female energy, but it feels for some of you, I mean, when the King of Cups or your card appears in your overarching energy, it feels like you're back in your element. Something is putting you back in your element here. Okay, so what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel, Spirits, Guides, message for Scorpio, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I love the energy here. We have don't stop. Um, whatever the message is here, Scorpio, it feels don't stop. This is you reconnecting to who you are. Uh, feels very beautiful, back on your throne. Absolutely lovely energy. Uh, like I said, King of Cups is male or female. So I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per week, though divine timing and all that. The messages may overlap. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, Scorpio. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. <clears throat> okay, so what do we have for our lovely Scorpios, please? Angel Spirits Guides for March 2021. Thank you. First card is out, the Page of Swords. Queen of Cups. Two of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Okay, let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Scorpio, please, for March 2021. What do we have for Scorpio, please, for March 2021? Okay, so we have the Sun with the Page of Swords, the Four of Wands with the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups with the Two of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck we have Temperance. Okay, Scorpio, let's clarify what this Eight of Cups means. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups. I've got it with the Four of Wands again. And let's clarify this temperance. I'm going to clarify temperance for Scorpio, please. That's come out reversed, so I've got the Nine of Swords reversed, I've got the Six of, of Swords reversed too there. Okay, just give me a moment, Scorpio. Okay. The 
King of Cups is you, Scorpio. So somebody who is emotionally stable, balanced, somebody who understands how to, uh, who understands emotions, can really see into people. Um, you know, somebody who connects to people on a deep level. I'm feeling this is to do with a relationship and it feels like an established relationship here. Um, certainly with the Queen of Cups being in this reading, it feels like this reading is to do with a specific relationship. The messages don't stop. So, absolute message here is, I'm definitely getting this energy of, of don't stop taking action. I mean, it feels that you have the opportunity to reconnect to who you are. Um, the King of Cups, you sometimes see him and you can see it with the cup. The cup sits in the middle of the ocean and the ocean and the cups represent our emotions and feelings and you can understand the ocean is miles and miles deep. So we can really sink into our emotions if we allow ourselves to. There's definitely an energy here, Scorpio, that you have the ability to do what you do best. Rise above a situation now. Remember the death card, which this it relates to, is the phoenix rising. Rise above something. Um, can be about wiping the slate clean. Can be about, you know, drawing the line into something. But it can be about getting on top of a situation that might have pulled you under, you know. It, it feels like to reconnect to who you are again. So there's a message of don't stop because you have the opportunity to rise above something now. Get on top of it. And that's definitely what I'm feeling. The the Page of Swords, you might have been healing for some, from some truth. Um, you know, the Page of Swords can be a message of truth. And the sun energy is a card of healing, being restored. Um, yeah, it feels... It feels, I mean, this could have been like some truth or some learning something here. And the sun is coming through the other side of something. So there could have been some truth or learning something and it feels to do with love, romance, relationships or getting clarity in terms of relationship on how you need to come through the other side of something now. Remember the sun is a feel good energy, it's a card of restoration, joy, happiness, uh, illumination, you know, it's a wonderful energy of, of light. So definitely in this situation it feels like you that that you may have been dealing with some truth or getting clarity in a situation on how you need to come through the other side of something now. Uh, put a difficult situation behind you, an obstacle, a block, and it feels to do with a relationship. The Four of Wands and the Queen of Cups is very much a relationship. The Queen of Cups is the counter, the opposite to the King of Cups. Now, both of these are male or female energy, is interchangeable. Um, but it definitely feels that there has been some relationship that you have been dealing with here. Um, it feels like some truth has come to light that may have caused some kind of obstacle or you learnt something, but you have clarity in how you need to deal with it, how you need to heal or move on from it, you know. Um, this Queen of Cups with the Four of Wands is a card of the happy home, the happy family, committed relationship, building a home, family, together. Um, can be a card of celebration, engagements, um, yeah, that kind of energy as well, Scorpio. But it feels to do with something that felt solid, stable, secure. Or feel solid, stable, secure. But there's definitely this energy of juggling something. Now, the Two of Pentacles can be about giving priority to something. How do I move forward? Um, assessing something. It can be when you feel overwhelmed in a situation. It can be when you're struggling to choose between two different paths, two different roads, you know, that kind of energy, that can be the two of pentacles too. And it's assessing how you prioritize, how you, how you get clarity, how you move forward. You know, it can be that kind of energy, but it feels that, you know, with the two of pentacles, this person juggles and dances. Um, 
you might be assessing, you know, on walking away. Yeah, it feels there's something that you had to rise above. And there's definitely an energy of, of healing, regenerating, feeling restored, having learnt something, maybe learnt some truth or some, some information that came to light or a message of truth here. And again, just wondering if something is for you, wondering where the value lies on how you move forward. You know, this juggling, I definitely feel this weighing something up assessing something, prioritizing, getting clear in your own head, do I walk away? It doesn't feel like you're choosing directly to walk away here with this two of pentacles, but you're weighing up what's of value to you now. You know, how much of value is this to me? Do, is it better for me to walk away from this relationship that I thought was solid, stable and secure? You know, or or is it of value to me to 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 give it another go? And I, I'm definitely feeling this energy of your you're really wondering what the decision is here and it feels like you're weighing things up um, being very careful in terms of how you make the decision yeah it's definitely what i'm getting here the four of cups is a card of intuitively you know the way forward because for some of you, again, this is someone giving deep thought. So again, I'm getting this energy of, okay, you're learning something or you've learned something. This could be coming in from February, you know, but you're, you're, you're getting clarity or maybe being illuminated by some truth that's coming to light here. And definitely this energy of the Four of Cups is giving some deep thought. The message with the Four of Cups is deep down, you already know the direction, the way you want to go. Now, yeah, the Spirit is giving you the direction through your intuition. Your instinct, your intuition is telling you which way you need to go in this situation. Yeah. Because the these cards being reversed, it feels like there's unfinished business here, Scorpio. And spirit is, it feels like spirit is giving you some kind of direction, some clarity in terms of how you deal with this, how you find a solution, how you find the way forward in this. Um, because the Six of Swords Upright is about detaching um, from troubles and moving forward. But it feels for some of you, you're not ready to, to move forward yet. You're still weighing things up. You're still giving some deep thought to a situation in how you move forward. I love the Nine of Swords Reverse because this is about releasing the worry, releasing the stress, releasing what has stressed you out, worry caused you, worry caused you some level of anxiety and it feels to do with a relationship here. So I feel for some of you, you're getting clarity in terms of how you need to move forward. I love this energy, Scorpio, for that reason. Uh, because the swords is to do with clarity, our mental perspective, our thought patterns, how we perceive something. And it feels, you know, if it was upright, this would be, I'm putting it behind me, moving forward, I'm detaching from troubles. Um, but it feels for some of you, there's some unfinished business here. Something isn't quite over. Yeah. Now, the temperance card can be reconciliation. It can be an opportunity, an offer, an opportunity, somebody offering you something as well, an opportunity to make peace with somebody. So for some of you, this can be about restoring balance to a relationship. Because for some of you, you don't feel like you really want to let go right now. Um, you feel that there is still value in the relationship, despite learning something or some truth coming to light. I mean, there's levels to this card, remember. There's levels to this card. Um, but this is about finding the way through, uh, finding balance, restoring balance, reconciliation here, finding a way through um, what has been a difficult situation to juggle. You know, this situation, extreme opposing forces pulling you apart. It definitely feels that you have an opportunity to find a way through. And it feels to do with a relationship because the three of 
Pentacles is rebuilding. This is a card of the value, seeing the value of the team. And where it feels for some of you, the foundations have been shook here. We have foundational energy here, earth energy, you know, being destabilized. I'm definitely getting that here. There is an opportunity to rebuild and it feels like to rebuild a relationship. There is still value to be had. People with common goals, common interests, you know, it's a beautiful energy. I'm definitely getting that very strongly for some of you. I mean, this can be, the Three of Pentacles can be a card of rebuilding yourself. You might be choosing to, to move home. I'm definitely getting more, though, the, the team, re, you know, rebuilding the team and the team of, of you, you both. Yeah, so interesting energy that I'm getting here, Scorpio, but it definitely feels for some of you there's unfinished business to deal with and you're not completely bringing down the sword, you're not breaking free completely from this situation because you still see the value in it, you still see the worth in it, you know, and that's what I'm getting here. Okay, so let's pull a final card, final message for Scorpio. The message is either way, you will get clarity in how you need to move forward. You will release worries and you will flourish. I love the energy, flourishing once more, rebuilding. We have the Lotus Flower, Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and to shed your inner light on any unclear errors of your life or those of others. Yeah, and you're being given the light. Illumination answers. I definitely feel for some of you. You have the opportunity to come through the other side of something. I'm definitely seeing in reconciliation energies. Rising above something now. Yeah. But very, very beautiful energy here, Scorpio. You know, it feels like, you know, it's been a bit rocky. But it definitely feels for some of you, you're, you're re-steadying the boat, finding the way forward, finding the solution, the way forward. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.